Hello, everybody, welcome to the video, and today, <laughs> just by a simple little screen of the title, as you can probably guess it, it's going to be a little rant about my current school bus driver and the bad that she's done already. <laughs> So, I'm sure you have like that one driver who you like her so much and then something happens to where one she either gets fired or she somehow like she loses her job somehow or she gets fired or she moves or, or God knows what. So it's because of a kid who decided to keep standing up on the bus months ago, back in like February. Where the bus driver kept saying, Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! From one kid. And she simply didn't listen. She would sit down, then almost immediately she would stand up again. When it finally came to the point where she got fed up and literally slammed on the brakes. <laughs> slammed on the brakes and she almost went and the kid almost went flying out the front doors of the bus. <laughs> Which I was kind of I thought it was kind of weird at first. Simply just because of the fact that she kind of almost deserved it for not listening. But then she didn't appear for the next day. She didn't have she hasn't seen she hasn't she wasn't seen since. Or she hasn't been seen since. And so now we've had this new driver, who I'm actually beginning, I was actually beginning to like. Until recently, when it's actually been a problem for a while now. So for some reason we have these, these stupid ignorant kids on the bus who want to keep pulling the emergency, either like accidentally or purposely pulling the emergency exit alarms of which yeah it can pro like pose like a big danger had have that win like if that window flies off it can it can honestly hit oncoming traffic it can i don't know why i said honestly but <laughs> it could potentially s fly off and hit oncoming traffic and so you would normally think that the driver would just write that kid up but no this this driver, the one I'm currently on, I was, I was just beginning to like. We've had her since February, and only now I decided to continue liking her. Only so instead of writing a one kid up or everyone that sits at the emergency exits, she decides thinks it's a good idea and yells, "If it happens one more time, I'm writing everyone up." What? Hold up, you're writing everyone up just for something that only like one or two kids on the bus did? No, oh, no, no. Oh, hold up. I don't care. Like, I don't give crap. Like, I, don't, I really don't care at all if you are, my, are the bus driver. Like, wh who, like, what type of bus driver are you for writing up? 60 plus kids. Yes, I have a very packed school bus. We write up 60 plus kids. 50 of which are basically innocent. And you're writing up basically everyone on the bus. How does that sound like a good idea? How does that sound like it's a good idea? And, like, you have to realize cameras for a reason. So, like, why don't we just say, why don't we just go and be like, oh, we'll have surveillance cameras. So instead of either writing everyone up and writing up the kids who sit at the exits, it should probably be a good idea to look at the surveillance cameras. Well, I mean, unless you can't really see the kids, then I honestly wouldn't blame her for writing up the kids who sit at the exits. But still, if she can see about the surveillance cameras, write up that kid that's doing it. And if you can't see them, just write up the kids who sit at the exits. I will honestly be very mad one day if I if I'm at my high school and I hear through the intercom, come to the office now, you 
the real name, not obviously saying you, that'd be weird. I would honestly, <laughs> I would honestly probably notify my parents, and there would probably be a big problem between me, me versus my parents and the bus driver. Hold on. Me and my parents versus the bus driver. There will be some problems at that. She's trying to turn up, right up everyone on the bus. Like, I don't care if you're, if you're the bus driver. That's like the excuse that everyone says. Well, I'm, I'm this, so I have the rights to do this. <laughs> yeah, you have the rights to write up, like, almost a hundred kids? Excuse me? Wait, for something that only one kid did, you're writing up everyone? Like, I, at this point, I honestly feel like I'm being written up just for riding the bus. For the longest time, for basically throughout my entire elementary years, except for kindergarten. Kindergarten, I was I rid the I rode I rode the school bus home. I never rode it to school, but I always rode it home. And the only reason why I stopped was simply just because of the fact that the bus was messy and the kids were extremely loud. And it had nothing to do with the bus driver, so I simply just stopped. And for some reason in sixth grade my parents were like, yeah, we have to ride the bus again. And so I did, and I thought, it's not a big deal, it's whatever. But now I feel like I'm honestly being threatened that I honestly feel like I'm being written up just for riding it now. Because of this one bus driver who thinks it's a good idea to be like, oh, well, I think it's a good idea to wrap everyone on the bus even though only one kid did this. Even like, even the other kids on the bus, pretty much like two, like, pretty much a, right after she, she said that, one kid was like, she can't write us all up for that. And honestly, for once in my life, for probably annoying kids, I would actually agree with that. Yeah. You're writing up like 50 plus kids. Who, most of which, didn't do anything. To be written up. <laughs> like, why? I'm one of the innocent kids. I don't even sit on an emergency exit. And she's threatening me and everyone else <laughs> that we're all going to get written up even though only one kid, one or at least two, did it. Like, like, I was also being like this driver. Reason being, reason being is because my old driver that got fired or whatever back in February for why I whatever reason she disappeared. <laughs> February 2017, obviously, because the thing I already said previously at the beginning of the video, she disappeared. The reason why I like my, I was starting to like my current driver more is because she, like, unlike my old driver, if all the kids were being, like, extremely loud and pulling the emergency exits, she would just be like, stop. She wouldn't even write him up. She would be like, stop. Whereas my current driver would actually do something about it. She would actually be like, well, I'm going to write you up. And 100% of the time, you'll find yourself in the principal's office the next day. Whereas... <laughs> My old driver was like, I'm writing you up, and you never get written up. <laughs> but now, after she said that she's going to write everyone up, if it happens one more time, she doesn't, she doesn't say, I'll write everyone up. She says, if it happens one more time. The chances of that one more time happening is like 95%. Simply just because the kids on my bus simply just don't listen to the driver. And, yeah. I guess that just, not listening to the driver, I guess simply just explains how stupid the kids on my school bus are. But like, 
Why write everyone up? You have surveillance cameras. Why write everyone up? You can't just write up the one kid, one kid. Or if you can't see whoever did it with surveillance cameras, your next best option were to be to basically write up everyone who sits at the exits, even though yeah, that would still be writing up eight in like seven or more or seven or less innocents. Yeah. Sure. I mean, eight kids sit at the windows in total. Two at each. Four total. That is up to eight, so. You know, like, if I seriously get written up, just because some other kid on the bus thought it was a good idea to pull the emergency exit alarms, I mean, yeah. Potentially, yes, that window could go flying off into traffic and potentially kill someone. You know what would be better than writing the kid up would actually just to simply suspend them from the bus. But why say it to the entire bus? Why say it? Why say that everyone's doing it? Why say you're going to do it to everyone, not just whoever actually did it? Oh yeah, like the window could go flying off. The side door could hit the car. The the back door could hit whoever the heck is behind us. I mean, again, like, like if that window flies off, yeah, it could hit a car. Or if that side door flies open, yeah, it could hit a car. If that back door flies open, yeah, it could once again hit a car. But at least punish the kids actually doing it and not the ones who are just looking at it and being like, yeah, it's not a good idea. I mean, for, I mean, why? I mean, even one kid was like, are you seriously writing us all up just for one thing that, for that thing that one kid did? And she did say, most likely, yes. But most likely, pretty much means yeah. <laughs> she didn't write everyone up for this. Again, like, I'm one of the innocents. Again, I, s I mean, I don't sit at the emergency exits. I sit at the, I sit at one of the seats that's in front of it. But still, I'm not really sitting at the emergency exit window. I'm just sitting next to it. But still, like, I don't even touch the windows. I, s I look at them. I look out of the wind. I look out the windows, but I don't touch them. In fact, I don't even open the windows. So, <laughs> yeah, regardless if it's hot or not, I don't even open windows on the bus. So you can definitely see that I am definitely one of the innocent kids on this bus. And being innocent, it's like I, I I'm really being written up at this point. I really do feel like I'm getting ridden up just for riding the bus. I mean, like seriously. You can't write everyone up. Oh, well, well potentially yes yeah, she can, but no one really gives, no one really cares if she's the bus driver. In fact, I'm sure many kids on our, on my bus would probably agree if like someone said, our old bus driver was so much better than this one. And half of me agrees with that, half of me disagrees. Half of me agrees simply because that she didn't do anything about the noisy kids. Half of me disagrees because the current driver is literally writing everyone up just for something that one kid did. I mean, yeah, it's a danger. This one kid is doing could pose, pose a danger to other drivers. I mean, smash, like, potentially kill an innocent. But, but, but please, don't write everyone up. Write up who did it, or, or at least, like, the second thing she could do is at least write up who's the people who sit at the exits. Because at least that way, you're not writing up everyone, you're not getting, like, 2,000, you're not getting, like, ah! Because at least in that case, you're not getting like a hundred plus parents against you.
I mean, please. Like, if she, like, why? Like, why, why do you do this? Like, I don't understand why this bus driver has to do this to, like, everyone on the bus. When it was just one thing. Just one kid. Only one kid did it. And this bus driver is punishing everyone, so. I mean, I would really like, like, again, like, the only reason why my old driver got fired was simply just because of the fact that one kid didn't listen and slamming on the brake, she slammed on the brakes, and the kid went flying out, almost, almost flying out the front doors. Not really flying out the front doors, almost did. And I was kind of not really happy with that. But if the same thing happens to the current driver, I would honestly laugh so hard. Because I'd be like, yay, good riddance to a terrible bus driver. If she doesn't write anyone, I mean, I wouldn't care if that so-called everyone doesn't include me. But if it does include me, then something, then there will be a problem. And I'll be just, I'll just be keeping up to date on my channel. So, if you want to know if I actually do get written up or not, this is the place to be. Or my friends, I'd probably just tell my friends almost automatically, but this is basically, if you want to know if I get written up or not, then I'll be sharing story and stuff on this channel. Cause I mean seriously, she can't just write everyone up. At least write the word kid up. I know I said like the same thing like 20 times already. So I'm sharing this video off here. And if you enjoy or oh, whatever. No, no. I'm sharing this video off here. I'll see you all later. Bye! Bye!